have terrible, terrible, unthinkable news, Rim Rims. So uh, I won't get too technical. I put a pinned comment in yesterday's episode with the actual information that's relevant. The thing I have to say, the heartbreaking opening to today's episode is rather sadly, uh, we can't build 1,000 tanks. In fact, after a lot of prolific testing, we can barely manage 50 tanks, let alone 1,000 tanks. The very basic, simple, boring reason is pathfinding. Uh, when, when you get to about 40 tanks, they find it very, very difficult to move around one another. It got up to 65 tanks before it was basically stuck at one frame a second, so I gave up. I was just like, nah, I'm good. I'm out. We, 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 let's not worry about that. Disappointing, I know, but there is something we can do instead that is very much just as silly. We have tanks here capable of taking a driver and two gunners simultaneously. I could build 40 CV-90s and we could fill them with three people each. Is it the 1,000 tanks I wanted? No, no, it is not. But is it uh, the, the, the most nuts I can go with this without the game falling completely apart? Yes. Tidy things up and slowly rebuilt as best as I could. I've missed some walls here because everything's built on bridges. And it turns out when bridges are destroyed, the blueprints don't work. So I've had to build a lot of this manually. During that time, I had Mabray totally clear out the prison. We just happened to have 10 people stood on stands waiting for the tanks to be built. That's granted only three tanks. So I also expended the cloning bays. Though, to be fair, if I do build 40 tanks and it's 30 tanks per person, that means I'm going to need 120 people. Well, yeah, yeah, that does add up. I just thought I'd better double check. And after all that effort yesterday, we have a total of three clones in the sleeve vats and two clones in the bio vats. Suffice to say, probably unlikely we're going to get that tank army anytime soon. And the other obvious thing that happened here between episodes... We had a second crab bot finally built. I started this last episode, but while we were recruiting all the prisoners, doing all the rebuilding. Oh, God, you've got kissy, kissy lips. Cydonia is a totally inappropriate name for you. I'm going to call you Eugene. Oh, dear. I'm going to call you Eugene. I'm going to try to call you Eugene the second. Good God. Well, I've got one of those horrible American-style keyboards. It's very confusing to my big, fat European fingers. <laughs> Miss you, enormous enter key. Gone but not forgotten. Just to make things a bit tidier, I'm going to nestle all of these people in the same category. So you go into there, you go into there. The third, we're going to keep as a template. You're going to be our our first and only clone, the, the progenitor of everything. I want to make sure you're going to live forever. So to that effect, I have crafted an empty Arcotech cortical stack using a different mod that's not does not stand it from altered carbon in theory then with this you will be not unkillable that's the wrong word but when you die we can grow you a new body unlike dr phil who's been turned into a spooky ghost <laughs> <laughs> now, there were lots of very smart people in the comments section yesterday saying, why not build more atomizers? Ah, joke's on you. I've already started. We just need to go and kill a shitload more Apocritons. Before we do that, though, we have an appointment with another War Empress, because I want Todd Howard to get his very fancy hat before I forget once again. We got a lot of stuff going on, okay? Oh, and of course, while I was editing yesterday, I realized that I wasn't trying to craft something with that Luciferium. I wanted to give Mabre the bioregen cycle, right? Oh my god, we still can't do it. Why? Five kills of war medicine, 20 neutramine, three advanced components, and one luciferium. I think it's the neutramine, actually, because we've got so many things that can... No, we've got plenty of neutramine. Uh, luciferium, what's a world medicine? What the fucking hell are we missing? One of us is going completely mad. Five kills of world medicine, 20 neutramine. Is it the advanced components of all things? Wait, what? Advanced comp... But no, I, I'm going mad. I'm going mad. Well, there is a button just to click start. So I guess we could do that. Well, wait, we'll kill the War Empress first. And then I'm going to regrow everybody. Because it's, it's been far too long. Hello there. This is going to be a little tougher. But I still don't think it'll be the strongest mech raid we've fought in recent memory. Uh, that's that's pretty impressive. Fire. Get him. Get him. Is it cheating to put the Incapable of Violence characters inside enormous howitzers? I don't think so. I think it's just a creative way to get around it. Because, again, it's the howitzer doing the damage. You no, know, it's not even that. It's uh, it's the shell that the howitzer fires doing the damage, not the person. Shut them down. Shut them down, squad. You are never going to get this. They're not even going to get close. First question. Can the power grid handle all the shield generators being on simultaneously? They can. We're just ahead by 4,000 watts. We can't build anything else. Oh, God, wait. Oh, no, that's not the generators. That's the, uh, that's the converters. Okay, so we as long as we don't build absolutely anything else ever... We're totally fine. I absolutely love this howitzer. It's like a shotgun blast of, of high-impact shells. It's so bloody good. Oh, my God. 
You killed the War Empress. These things I'm more scared of. Given that the Starfires, which is another variant of these bloody siege mechanoids, are uh, horrible. Absolutely horrible. Uh, oh, good God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, shit. Okay, they're not pissing around then. Um, Everybody get to the bunker. Let's go man some more turrets here. Wow, that's disgusting. Holy shit. It's not doing that much damage to the coastal batteries. Probably because they're made of concrete. Not very flammable stuff. It's also the dead of winter, too, with hard snow. So, uh, fire foam popper. Uh, fire foam popper. Pop. In your own time. The problem. This is the problem. All you people in the comments. Otherwise, you're marching people out there. You know why? Because they'll want to see blood and fire and fury. And all we did there was sit behind a concrete bunker and kill them from a distance. I want to see people out here fighting for their lives, damn it. It's just too safe. What's wrong with the third? Hello? Oh my god, anesthetic plus toxic buildup was enough to knock them down. What we should do is really get you in the advanced... Can we shoot you in for the, yeah, the advanced bioregen cycle? Oh, excellent. Okay, yeah, Eugene, deal with that for me. Boom, there we go. Only 1.5 days. Bear in mind we have overloaded it with 2,000% of the nutrition required. Hence why uh, we've never got any food in this colony. <laughs> Call me unreasonable. But I think getting an arm and a leg is probably a bit more important than a delicious dessert. Oh, shit. Hello. Skill learning, no passion up by 0.65. Bam, that's cool. Global learning factor up by 30%. That's amazing for somebody who's being backgrown. Next thing people talked about in the comments, the gene centrifuge is apparently the thing that will allow us to split out different uh, gene packs. So we've got Titan Frame and Granulin Defendancy on the same one. Apparently we can use this just to uh, divide them up into separate gene packs. I think the last time I played Altered Carbon was pre-Biotech, if I'm not mistaken. Separate gene. Oh, none, because it's probably an Archite gene pack. Bollocks. Oh, you idiots in the comment section and your grand ideas. We could just give it to a clone and then extract the genes from a clone, which is what I was going to do. But then we also need more archite capsules. To be fair, I got three of them. It, it will work. It's horrible of me to do it, but it definitely will work. The other obvious alternative, right, is we just grow Prometheus a new body. But I feel like I don't like that because we're, it, there's so much useful stuff that Prometheus has. Ageless, archite metabolism, deathless. I want all of these things. Besides the hyper-aggressiveness and the kill thirst, I think it's easier to remove what you don't have than it is to rebuild what we want in a new body. Unless, of course, there's a way for me to clone it and remove some of the genes, but I presume that would be very powerful and very illegal. Before I commit then to building, what I say, like 40 of these things, the only tank we haven't really properly tried is the KV-1 heavy tank, and that's because I couldn't get the castings before. Hey, 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 take everything I've said so far this episode, forget it, okay? That's that's gone now, I've changed my mind. Call me the testing lord, because if we're doing silly ideas, I need to test them first. Call me famous Greek philosopher Testicles, because I like testing things. You see, no, who uses manual saves? What am I, a bitch? Over here is uh, testing for the tanks. I like testing. This is going to be my new thing for roughly three or four episodes, then I'm sure I'll forget about it. You see how things are like running like shit and it's a thoroughly unpleasant experience to be playing for eight hours a day on like 10 frames a second? Call me Testmeister because I did some testing. What was that testing you asked? Well, I'm so, so glad you did ask Todd Howard. What is testing? Asks Todd Howard, releasing Skyrim again. So basically, I deleted the whole base and the TPS went back up to like 5,000. So it's not the people that's a problem. Problem. It's the amount of shit that I've built. Uh, now, look, I, I will admit, a lot of this stuff is not exactly doing anything for us. <laughs> I've totally lost control of the stockpile, so I'm just going to, like, tidy things up. I'm going to tidy things up. I love heavy industry. I really do. I don't love it if it's making the game run a little bit slower, which it will be, because, of course, there's a lot going on here. It's not inherently laggy. It's just the fact that there's, there's like, a lot happening. We've got, like, three pipe networks going on right now, okay? There's a lot. There's a lot for poor sweet RimWorld, which can barely manage regular colonists. You know what's probably contributing enormously to this problem? The amount of bloody waste packs the game's having to render. Oh, dear. Oh, I've really lost control of my life. I would never touch Phil's secret stash. But I am going to remove some of the art uh, of vehicles that I'm not using. I'm going to build something very brave. I'm going to build something very brave that's going to blow your mind. I'm going to build a fucking stockpile because somehow I've gone all game without one. Ooh, what happened to Mabre? Chemical interest, steadfast, neat, or cold inclined. Whoa. Cold inclined, very cool for a character. I will admit, given that she's using the crypto axe. Steadfast is really good, though, too. Oh, a deadly illness. Oh, fair enough. What what did you have wrong with you? I didn't even notice. Oh, flu? Oh, they must have only just got it. 
Matt Brady's got, like, really powerful immunity, whereas Todd Howard's that stinky little genie bitch. Hey, yeah, have some antibiotics. You can give everybody antibiotics, right? There's no downside to that. It'll just make them just make them tend faster. Sure, here you go. I think as long as we just don't give them too much because the genies have the antibiotics resistant. Yeah, that's great. Amazing. Great. Fantastic. He always starts so high energy and then drops off towards... Yeah, no shit, because I'm watching the equivalent of a PowerPoint for 12 hours a day. You be low energy too. You... Oh, my God. God, oh, look at him now. Oh, Todd Howard. Oh, Todd Howard. I don't like him as a character, but you've got to respect that. Lynx, every bloody time with the manhunting Lynx, what's wrong with you? Luckily, I built a staggering amount of turrets. I don't think the spotlight's really helping here. <laughs> oh, oh, I like that a lot. The problem is the turrets from this side are seeing the Lynx and shooting at our own shields. What I need is one massive shield to cover the whole thing rather than... Well, I mean, there are, but they use a lot of power. Oh, probably less power than all of these combined. Oh, it's because they don't reach. I remember why I didn't do it. Ugh, what if we put it, like, right right there? See, the problem with putting it right there is the enemies could come inside the shield from that distance, right? Ugh, we could zap it like there. That might just do it. You know what? I'm going to give it a go, goddammit. I'm going to say, like, potentially draft up. Holy shit, they've... Th the first time the kill box has ever been breached... And it was by lynxes. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Hello. Nice to see you all. How are you doing? Don't mind us. Just living our... Oh, my God. They have really breached the line, haven't they? No mechanoids, no apocritons, no chainsaw hands, no slavers, no nothing has got past our defenses. Nothing other than a big angry cat. Who, who is Rogerios? Oh, Tiffy, Tiffy, hello. Uh, thick-skinned or prude? Well, thick-skinned is pretty good given that you're going to be one of our combat children. I can't ever notice one of those growth pods seems to have grown significantly faster than the other. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to have one shelf for... Oh, what happened? Badly now malnourished. I know, I know, okay. Oh, I can't really do much. It's a freaking ice age. I've got as many hard products as I could fit. Yes, I am the cure. Oh, oh, it's dropped quite low. Oh, but it's coming back. It grows in power. Oh, and now it's dropping. Ooh, oh. Total up a little bit. It helped a little bit, so that's good. That's going to be sure, surely helpful when I build. What did I say? Like 40 tanks in the end? Leaving Capeta a finished growing sleeve. Oh, the first clones are done. My friend, come stand here so I can clone you another... Oh, many times. My God. 116 times or something like that. Hold on then. So you are in a stack there. Then we need to keep backing up. Uh, enable automatic restoring, automatic backup. Then we need to fill this with a bunch of other stacks. And then in theory, that's it, right? We just duplicate it out and install it in the new people. I remember these things. Whoops. I was doing a lot of rebuilding and tidying up. And I think I accidentally deleted more than I intended to. I've also expanded the waste room, but we need to we need to fight that man. The amount of times I say we need to fight that man, and I keep forgetting to fight him. Mech Bandish Tier 3. Well, I'm, I'm going to fight it at least another six times. However many times we'll fit here aesthetically. I'm going to fight it another eight times. The vehicle series, remember? Remember when we used to do vehicles in this series that's called, like, Vehicle Wars or whatever, and then I've just been blowing my own people up with impact weapons? Remember that? I'm going to let these people out, and I'm going to put them in vehicles. What the hell's going on there? Hello? What the? Hello? <laughs> You're not balls deep. You're a good son. Hello. Uh, here's what I decided, right? Big brain time. If it ever makes sense to put these people in siege break armor, it'd be the time when the majority of my fighting force consists of delicate, delicate, sweet, precious genies. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What if we put them in the armor? And then put them in a tank? Can we do that? I'm going to try it. Uh, nobody can stop me. That's the best part. Hey, uh, well, I mean, unless they've specifically stopped you being able to get in armor and then into a tank. Ungi, you're my test bed, my friend. Oh, my God. And you bought your own shield. <laughs> now, if we give you a shield belt, too. Hold on. This is this is enormous brain. A big heavy armor, right? Which I presume is, is all layers because that stuff looks kind of heavy. Ooh, jump wings. Ooh, no, don't get distracted. I want the shield belt. Hey, hey, uh, what, what layer is this mobile infantry stuff? Because this could be the biggest brain thing I've ever done in my whole life. Uh, it's, uh, somewhere. It's certainly somewhere. That's true. Middle and outer. Meow, it's just going to be, it's, no one else is ever going to die again. It's going to be steel the whole way down. Oh, I need to see skin layer, though. Turns out this is the best one in the military stuff. Here, hear me out here. This is going to be amazing. New outfit. We're going to say, uh, mobile infant. 
What am I doing? Oh, yes, no, fine. Yeah, no, that's okay. You can call it that too. I didn't want to call it that necessarily, but that's that's acceptable. Hey, take some of this. Then take the uh, military uniform. There we are. I don't know if they can wear boots and gloves, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. Boots, gloves. Then I want shields all the way down. Round shield, crypto shield, range shield belt. And they're all genies, so they can just craft their own shit. Oh, no, not another tank. I was singing the praise of this colonist bar. This is a mess. I can't, I can't function like this. That where has everybody gone? 16. That's not 16 people. I don't need a maths degree to tell you that that is, that is totally factually incorrect. <laughs> Who's laughing now? Oh, uh, you know, I gotta make up for the lack of vehicles that have been in this vehicle series, okay? I mean, I've used the helicopter uh, shitloads. Like, pretty much non-stop. This thing saved the whole playthrough. Ah! Don't do this. No! Uh, that's not gonna like, that's not gonna like kill you. Oh, 24 hours. That was just fine. That solar flare disappeared before then. Please, this is my tank drivers. Boom. Okay, then. Let's send in the tank people. I don't think they completely finished all their shields for them, but they did finish all of their mobile infantry armor, which we're waiting on only cloth for all of them. Jesus, what a mess. They do have helmets. They just don't look like they've got helmets on the stand, so I did double check. Hello. How you all doing? I should probably give them all guns as well, shouldn't I? Because... These tanks might not last forever. My god, look at them go. It's like my army of armored Roombas. Okay, shield belts, shield and armor. They've got an actual physical shield, and then they're going into a tank. I think this is all, this is all fine. Very acceptable stuff. <laughs> there it is. Battle against the legendary Fenrir. Very good. Well done, Mabre. Oh, I think that just broke the game. Okay, don't kill the Fenrir. We've learned that one. Wow, that has actually legitimately crashed the game, huh? Hold on a second. That wasn't the Fenrir at all. That's quite a lot. 55 of them, and it's not the only group. Oh, Jesus. 110 versus 24 in the middle of the solar flare. Oh, clever. They were waiting right outside for me to fuck things up. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yes. Die. Oh, good God. Give me a moment. I sure hope this solar flare fucks off very, very soon, because Mabra can't get back indoors. Hey, uh, excuse me, Toxbear. Um, now's not the time for your shit. We got enough furries to fight. Get out the way. It might legitimately be stronger not in the tanks. <laughs> go, 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 go. Get to the tanks. Get to the tanks. Wasp player. Oh, God, wasp player. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay, get in there. Let's get in these bulldogs. Oh, they're not, they're not armed yet. Okay, fine. Maybe we don't have to use the vehicles right now. Oh, my bro's trapped between that enormous bear and a whole bunch of furries. This isn't fair. I should say an enormous bear and a whole bunch of twinks. Hey, get, go to put that rocket launcher to good use, damn it. Save my bro. She can't outrun them. That's, that's too many. That's too many people for one person to handle. You know what? Save her. Bring that, bring that door down. Ooh, bring... Oh, God, the lag. <laughs> I can't physically click it. Hey, bring that door down. Attack my bro, will you? Attack my bro, will you? Go. Kill them all. Go, super genies, go. Yes! <laughs> oh, no, they're already down. <laughs> Kill them all. Kill them all. You don't have to jetpack in there. You could just fire the rockets. That's all good. Ooh, well, we've lost two. We've lost two to a bit of friendly fire, but it's okay. It's, like, it's just like a bruise. It's just a bunch of bruises. It's a bunch of bruises. And they're, they're genies, don't forget, so they're delicate. As long as we keep our distance and avoid too much friendly fire, this is going to be a massacre. What the hell is even that? That looks amazing. Plastic giant warhammer, a gift for Mabry. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Die. Die. Get him. <laughs> oh, this is nuts. I am in awe. I am in awe. These poor sweet genies. I love that I'm like, oh, okay, the impact weapons, the highly explosive weapons killed one of the best characters. Uh, let's be a bit more careful about that. So I've just strapped even more delicate people with even more explosive weapons. Oh, you got to admit, this is great. This is fantastic catharsis for a series filled with high mates. I've never been happier to watch them all be blown to smithereens. I think we can say that uh, Operation Make-A-Wish... That's fucking genius because they're genies. God, I'm wasted here on YouTube. That's very clever because the genies are all because the high mates are all gonna. You get it? You understand? I don't need to explain that joke. That works so well. To be fair, we did end up destroying a massive chunk of our own base by doing that. But honestly, that's part of the experience. The best part of the experience. All the flares ending. Okay, are oh, they gonna be fine then? Right? 14 hours. Whoo! A little messy, but I can deal with it. Now imagine that in the tanks. Because the chainsaw hands, they, they open up the tanks like a tin opener. Inside, something even more dangerous. So let's go steel. Oh, I'm out of steel. Steel and, uh, like, actual steel, though. Oh, God, I am totally out. 
Shit. It's almost like it can be quite expensive to build this many tanks. Okay, let's try this again. I made a little defensive position so I can find these people easier on this messy, messy bar. Pretend I didn't have to reload all the tanks manually. Hey, who wants to summon a mechanoid for me? Is it Todd Howard? Lord, we're already having pathing issues and there's only 10 of the smaller tanks. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you probably don't want to move 10 tanks simultaneously. We'll just let them get a bit of distance and they should be fine. Ah! Okay, good work, good work. Careful. Careful. No, you just plowed right through them. You, you're plowing right through them. Where are they? Ooh, 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 we can get to that. We can get to that, I believe. I believe. It's about this moment I'd edit in some uh, humorous tuba music, but I don't want to get done for copyright again. No, thank you. No, no fun here. Oh, no. Is this about Dr. Phil again? Pessimist, wimp, depressive, or psychically hypersensitive? I, I, I mean, look, I've, though it makes more sense for her to be upset about, you know, Dr. Phil become a, a pessimist or depressive, I can't just take massive L's like this all the time. Okay, I need my people to have something in their life. Ah, careful, careful. Ah, what do you mean cut up path here? Okay, let's spread out, squad. Yes. Yes, this is it. This is a good moment. This is a good moment. Start firing, little tanks. Stop, stop firing. Stop firing, though. Start, start fucking firing. Thank you. Good lord. Okay, hold on, hold on. I just gotta sit here and toggle all my tanks again. Ah! Please, please. Let me. Well, I mean, let me toggle the toggle the tank. I can't set this one to automatically fire. What? I need need all that won't work. What on earth is happening? Oh, the interface isn't doing anything. No, my tanks. Oh, is it because these ones have to be stood still before they can? Well, they can fire. Same story with acquiring new targets. Oh, boo ones. Okay. Okay, which ones aren't firing? I've totally lost track at this point. Should have just stuck to the big old armor, huh? <laughs> They're all shooting one another. Ah! I hate tanks. Why did I... Oh! Why did I agree to this fucking stupid idea? God, I hate these tanks. Why am I even using them? Shoot that man! Shoot that man! Shoot him! Shoot him now! What are you doing? Oh, these, I hate them. I hate them all. I'm taking these apart. God, I wasted so much time building them. Shoot, shoot the apocrites on, though. What are you, do what the fuck are they doing? What the fuck? What are you doing? Shoot him! I'm not even sure that was the tank. I think that was just the, the auto cannon turret. Right, everyone, get out. Get out right now. Get out. Get out. No, get, get, get out of the tanks. Go unload. Get rid of the tanks. Get rid of them. Just, just shoot, shoot the man. Just shoot the man. <laughs> right, well, the bulldogs are off the menu. Sorry, not the bulldogs. Well, these roadkill, they're off the menu. I'm never building them again. If we can't move and shoot, yeah, forget it. Forget it. It's impossible to It's impossible to use. So I could build like, um. well, I was going to say like five of these. We've already got five of these. In fact, we've got 14 of the bloody things. Please, for God's sake, don't allow my frustration and impatience to paint this in a negative picture. I'm sure if you had the patience, you could definitely make something like that work. I... Uh, you know, it's just I've only got 30 minutes to stuff a lot of episode into. And I, I feel like that would really take several hours. <laughs> All that so I can make the base slightly less stinky. Great work. I decided I wasn't going to use the ultrasonic purifiers because, uh, you know, things are already running kind of slow. And I thought that might add a little bit extra. But why not? I mean, this is going to take forever, isn't it? I've melted down half the stockpile, okay? I've got to get something out of this. Jesus, hello there, peculiar stands. Don't mind me, I'm just setting up a standing army. Because <laughs> they're going to be... Uh, you you know. Uh, you don't. You don't know. You don't know. I should probably explain it, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to. As a gift, I gave Mabre this very fancy exoskeleton suit because it makes her stronger and faster and better, which I think is very on brand for the character. It's not just, you know, generic super soldier shit. It wouldn't make sense giving that to a genie because they're all nerds that work in, a, work in an office all day, sequestered away, probably in a very, very warm room, constantly at a PC, losing their fucking minds. Or something to that effect. Anyway, Mabre made, made a lot more sense. Hey, I'm going to throw her in the uh, bio tuna fixer Marisa because that very beautiful nose of hers got shattered she had an aesthetic nose it got shattered and she's also <laughs> lost a leg so I think now is probably a good time to fix her up hey, is anybody else missing anything do you also need I don't give a shit about Todd Howard I mean anybody besides Todd Howard do you need anything valuable I like the fact that Jade has gotten all of these very much she's our other mechanator but I'm not really doing anything with her so she's just become like actual mechanized rather than mechanator oh Sweet Prometheus, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the Biosculpt pod because the third, along with uh, the third's many, many clones, 
I'm slapping in the stands because that's what they're there for. They're there to go in the tanks to eventually lead the charge. Go blow up all those chainsaw hands. What are you doing, though? What do you think about what you're doing a second? Balls deep. Why? What's wrong with you? That's a ball. You legitimately got a gun in your pocket. Use the gun. I feel like this series, they've been, they, they've just been a totally smooth brain compared to usual. Here's another thing I realized. Every single one of these genies have dead calm, which would be amazing to, of course, give to Prometheus because that basically cures them immediately, right? Why not just take a shit genie we're not doing anything with, like T, and slap, sorry, T, <laughs> slap them in the gene vat because that'll keep extracting their genes, uh, I don't know if it's sequentially, but at least until we've got them all. Time left, 191 hours. Does he extract all of them in one go? Because that's quite, uh, that's quite a handy thing, huh? She must only extract genes from the person in it, preferring genes not already stored nearby. Ooh. Person to create a gene pack from them. Interesting. Well, let's see how that works, I suppose. Oh, yeah, by all means. I mean, bring your mates. Hang on. Would it not make sense doing the tier six over and over and over? Because eventually they'll probably just bring Apocritons, right? At the higher waves. I think we don't worry about it. But Howard, release the hounds. My goal is to eventually send all of these super armored, hyper armored, genie shielded, genie turtle men with, uh, with these people in tanks. Everyone keeps saying infantry support, whatever the hell that means. Because they've played, you know, far too many war simulator games. So I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm going to follow their advice, and then we'll see how that goes, despite the fact that this is a story generator. It's a story. It's not a military simulator, despite how many mods you throw at it. Yes. Yes! Land there, land there, land there, land there. Oh, you fools. Oh, you fools. Let me... Oh, they're already firing. They already be firing. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> The Apocritons are running away! Oh, you little coward. Now, I do think that these are only supposed to... Oh, there's clearly an ammo system, but the ammo system doesn't actually appear to be working. Put that away. What is wrong with you? Why are you not firing? Oh, this guy actually ran out of ammo. How odd. So one actually did run out. That's so strange. I won't loot, use the laser, but this is actually just amazing to see. I think the chip got destroyed. Dropped a nano structuring chip. Uh, where's the... Nah. Nano. No, nah, it's gone. <laughs> okay. So maybe we don't use those next time. Like, I just... I, it's just fun. Okay. It's just fun to see so many rockets firing at once. Oh my god, finally. That took so long to load all that bloody nutrition in. Get in the pod. Get in the pod, Prometheus. Oh, Mabre's cured. Mabre, how are you doing? Good as new. Look at this. Wait, I feel like she had something else. Did she have something else? Maybe I'm going mad. Now we wait for the inevitable horrible idea that is me waiting uh, uh, weeks to clone all of these people to stuff them haphazardly into tanks, which I then cannot control and probably destroy one another with friendly fire. Any questions? Hey, uh, I got an answer to a question you didn't even know you had. Tomorrow is the answer. Tomorrow is when we will be pursuing that end game goal of traveling the planet and stealing the natural resources from everywhere. America. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> it's very warm in here today. It's very frighteningly warm and I'm I'm baking and I'm dying. How long will this series go on for? Um, I have no idea. Basically until I stop having fun with it because this was always meant as just a way to look at vehicles and do silly things with vehicles but I, I think I wish I'd have waited until some other vehicles had come out. Like until the tier 3 of the vanilla expander vehicles and whatnot. Um, saw all of the other vehicles very, very quickly, but I think there are some new things coming shortly. Not that I'm going to speak about them. Uh, you'll have to see it for yourself. Thank you. After that, of course, Generations. And after that, I have the, the wackiest idea I've had for RimWorld ever, and it should work. It's a simple concept, but it's incredible, and I'm very excited to play it. Arguably more than Generations, but we will see how it goes. Thank you to... Jenny, Lost Turtle, King Jar Jar, Silent Sentinel, Basic Dev, Galaxy Wolf, Super Awesome, Goku, Dragon MRH, Heisenborg, Shadow Blade, Ash, Zuna, Texas Yardbird, Cheese King 21, Swallow, My Mayo, Malarkey, A Pine Tree, Jimmy the Dryer's number one fan, Matthew Capon, Cosmic Zombie, Pika Pyre, Cryoxis, Todd Howard, Jurgen, and Boo for their support at the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. That is the actual real Todd Howard. A. Hey, I like your game. Only one of them. You'll have to figure out which. Thanks as well to Elias Volberg, Nate Tasm, Maxoplo, Platamort, to Snarf, 
Randomman 9989, Roman Von Klein, Caden Kai Malloy, Sasha Mimoli, Technoman 08, Gory Gabriev, Emerald Beam, Brian Elliott, H, Adamski XD, Mithrin slash Chunk D's Nuts, Derpin 8, and Uninvited Haggis, who is very much invited. See you all tomorrow. For, for the beginning of the end of this, our waking nightmare.